Howdy, I'm John Richmond, and I'm the inventor and the manufacturer of the Sluice Goose Industries Gold Draw, gold and pay dirt separating processor. Today I've received 300 pounds of Cape Disappointment sand from Dave Urick, owner of Columbia River Mining Supplies. He's let me have this uh, 300 pounds of Cape Disappointment beach sand in order to test the gold drop's ability to remove the flower gold and potentially the gold ore that exists in this sand. So this is what I'll be doing first. Uh, and the first step I'll be doing is using Dave Urich's Spin It Off to remove the magnetite from this Cape Disappointment beach sand. This is a stainless steel dog kennel tray that really works well for helping me to remove the magnetite from the beach sand. So what I'll do is I'll spread out the beach sand on the tray here. And then we'll use the spin it off to remove the magnetite. So this is the magnetite here that's being removed from this Cape Disappointment beach sand. So I'll go through all of the sand here and remove the magnetite and then show you what I have. On the left is the magnetite removed from the Cape Disappointment beach sand. On the right is the non-magnetic material that is the component of the Cape Disappointment beach sand. Removing the magnetite with the spin it off still captures some of the mineral in the magnetite as you're removing it. So now I'll process that magnetite a couple of two or three times to remove what mineral is still caught in that magnetite. Now I'll clean the magnetite of what mineral it still contains in order to cleanse the magnetite and remove all of that gold bearing mineral. So you can see how much of that mineral was still trapped inside the magnetite. And this is why you spend two or three times cleaning the magnetite to remove all that mineral. So you can see pretty much all the mineral is now removed with magnetite. Now I can collect up the magnetite and use it in the magnet sluice. So that's the procedure for further cleaning the non-magnetic matter out of the magnetite. That's the magnetite on the left there and on the right is the mineral that was removed from the magnetite through additional cleaning using the spin it off. You can see that the magnetite has a capacity to hold quite a bit of non-magnetic matter. This is why it works so well in the magnet sluice because it'll catch the gold and catch that fine mineral and catch gold ore also. This is the uh, result of cleaning out 
three 100-pound uh, bags of the Cape Disappointment beach sand. So these are all the, mag the non-magnetic sand separated from the magnetite. So this is the magnetite over here. There's about equal portions of each bucket. So that means there's about 25% of magnetite in that Cape Disappointment beach sand. So we'll be using that magnetite in the magnet sluice to capture that very fine flower gold, microscopic gold, and gold ore if it does exist there too. We'll start the process by loading up the magnet sluice with a magnetite. Okay, the magnetite is in the sluice. So now we'll place the miner's moss over the top. Tuck it in under the spout there. And then we'll place the flow control right on top of that. And now we're ready to begin processing. Oh, first I have to add the water to the sand, make sure it's nice and wet. Okay, so I have the drop water set at uh, 0.2 gallons per minute. The front mixing valve is halfway open. The side mixing valve is totally closed. And the funnel water is fully open. So because the sand is so small, I'm using the funnel water as a quick wash down through the tube and then maybe give the gold some momentum to drop into the trap because the gold is so doggone small. So let's uh, get to processing here and see what gold we can get out of this black sand from Cape Disappointment. And as usual, I use Dawn in the water, break the surface tension of the water. So now we'll see what gold is in the jar from basically 12 gallons of Cape Disappointment sand minus the magnetite. So I've already allowed the debris and the column and the trap to settle into the jar. So everything that was in there is in the jar. Along with a little mosquito larvae, by golly, there's something floating around. Two of them, I'll be dubbed. Okay, well, we'll see what gold is in there with the mosquitoes. Well, it's pretty black. There's a lot of crap in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run that back through the gold drop again and see if I can separate that sand, black sand, from the gold and make it appear more clean. So, filled the jar with water. And open the valve.
let the air out. Now I'm going to set the uh, drop water at about 0.3 gallons per minute. Point maybe 0.35. We'll start there and then just gradually reduce it to allow the gold to drop out. So now I'll just go ahead and flush this in the funnel here. Okay, it's all in the funnel. I'm going to wash down the funnel here. Make sure it's all in there. Okay, so I can see the gold dropping out. So I'll reduce the water flow now to see if we can get the gold to drop into the jar. And it is doing precisely that. Let's go here in just a second. I'll show you the clean gold that was collected out of this Cape Disappointment sand. Some really flat flaky ones trying to come down. Let me reduce it a little bit more. There I got those to drop. Okay now I'll show you what gold was in there. Let me do it just a little clean up here. Well, there you have it. There's the gold. Shoot, I can't see nothing. Anyway, there's the gold, if you can see it. I'll go ahead and uh, clean this up and then weigh it and see what we got. Plus, I'll clean up what's left in the uh, trap too and add that to this. So while we're waiting for the gold to clean up into the jar, we'll go ahead and empty the magnet sluice and uh, see what was captured in the magnetite in the miner's mix. Okay, now we'll clean this up and see what we get. This is the sum total of the gold that was collected out of 12 gallons of Cape Disappointment beach sand. Pretty impressive. So now I'll show you the gold ore that was also extracted in the magnet sluice. So you can kind of see it has a kind of a a golden color to it. This ore is going to assay about 240 ounces per ton of this material. So this is kind of a little bonus that is grabbed by the magnet sluice. So now I'll show you a little video of a gold drop in an actual gold cleanup room. And while I then uh, weigh up my gold and see how much we got. Here's a couple of dramatic videos sent to me by a gold miner who owns a gold drop. He uses it in his gold cleanup room to separate his gold from the black sand and other debris that exists in his concentrates. This way he doesn't have to use the pan and the hunt and pick method to try to remove that black debris from his gold. Saves him a great deal of time in processing. So here's another view, and um, this is a great tool for any gold cleanup room. It really works well for keeping the black sand separated from the gold. You can see the black sand remains up in the trap by the vertical flow of that elutriation water as it just tosses around in the trap and stays there without dropping into the jar. And there's his setting point four or five gallons per minute flow and the tailings go into the bucket so it can reprocess. So a pretty dramatic use of the gold drop for this gold miner. 
it's a great cleanup tool where you don't have to pan out that black material. Here is the smeltable gold ore recovered in the magnet sluice. There is uh, 14 grains of this matter. Uh, this gold ore assays around 240 ounces of gold per ton. Maybe more, it looks so golden, it might be more. Um, anyway, so this was extracted out of that Cape Disappointment beach sand. And this is what the Mercury Free Mining Test found, was that the gold drop was the only device that actually produces a smeltable concentrate, along with recovering more gold than using mercury. So anyway, there's proof of the smeltable concentrate that the magnet sluice captures out of, well in this case, the uh, black sand from Cape Disappointment. Now we'll go ahead and weigh up this gold and see if it was worth my while. Okay, so we'll put the plate on here. Tear it out. Okay, here we go. This is the great amount of gold out of Cape Disappointment Black Beach Sand. Wow, it weighs a whopping nothing. That is the most beautiful nothing I've ever seen. <laughs> well, to give you a little close-up of it, if I can. Here we go. Well, that's some tiny gold in there, that's for sure. And it weighs absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, well, thanks for watching, and thanks for being interested.